Hey Raptors, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Hey, check it out. We got, we finally got merch. We finally got our shirt approved by Amazon. The design is done. The store actually had been approved for months, but due to supply chain issues, hiring people back, I don't know, all that good stuff that they had going on on the Amazon side of the house, they weren't accepting new designs. So we just got our design approved and they're available for purchase. They run about $20 a shirt, maybe a little bit more when we get the long sleeves out there. But uh, every dollar that we make off of that, which is a couple dollars per shirt, it's gonna go right back into the channel and we could use it because we actually lose money on the channel. So if you wanna show your support, pick up a shirt or something like that, we really uh, greatly appreciate it. Today we have a great video for you. We're doing a rig build and we're actually doing this in the shed. We're getting parts and taking them out there. And there's a couple reasons for doing that, which I will go over here in just a moment. But what we are doing is we are building a benchmark rig. Now, Anytime a new algorithm has come out or we've had to do hash rate testing or something like that, we've bounced around between multiple rigs and sort of taken them out of production and had to mess with them a little bit. And I, I'm not crazy about doing that. So I decided to get one rig that's representative of a whole bunch of cards set right side by side each other. So anytime you've got a question about a hash rate or there's something that we're trying to demonstrate for you, we'll be able to go to this rig fire it up and we'll get hash rates from a ton of cards that most of the miners are using out there in the mining space. Now we do have our AMD rig with our 470s and our 580s. If anyone wants to see any hash rates on those, we've got that available. This is gonna be a team green build. I'm gonna go over the GPUs with you before we jump into all the parts that we used. So first up, I'm gonna start at the bottom. The first GPU is an EVGA six gigabyte 1060. Then taking one step up from there, you could argue where you would order these, but this is how I order them. We've got a gigabyte, six gigabyte. <laughs> that sounds odd. We've got, that sounds, that sounds funny. We've got a gigabyte, six gig, 1660, not super, not TI, just a plain 1660. We've got an EVGA, six gigabyte, 1660 super. It's the SC Ultra Edition. We've got an EVGA 6 gigabyte 1660 Ti Black Edition. This is the one with the single fan. It's a little bit larger GPU. A lot of folks weren't crazy about that design. We've got the NVIDIA 8 gigabyte 1070 Founders Edition, and we also have the same NVIDIA Founders Edition in the 1080 variant. We've got the EVGA 11 gigabyte 1080 Ti rounding out the top end of this. So that's seven GPUs that we're gonna have on this rig that's gonna be very representative of a ton of the GPUs that are out there that miners are using to date. They're picking up off the used card market or it's cards that they've purchased over the years and they're still hashing away at these things. So we'll have these available. Now that seven cards will have one slot open for either maintenance to do if we have to do some troubleshooting, but we'll also have that if we wanna drop in another GPU, maybe a new GPU, and have it sitting right side by side there uh, for testing. So if we get in new hardware, I think the plan is gonna be, we're gonna test that here in the studio. We'll put it in our studio rig that you saw us build here on the channel. And we'll do that for individual cards, individual power supplies, motherboards, whatever, whatever components, fan testing it is that we're doing. We'll do that here in the studio, and then we'll place it up against this benchmark rig. Okay, next thing I wanna talk about is the parts we're gonna be using. We're gonna use the Celeron G3900. This is not the 3930, it's the 3900, which is perfectly serviceable. It would have been better if I'd gotten the 3930, but it wasn't available at the time when I ordered processors. So we're putting that on new onto a brand new ASRock H110 motherboard. And we're gonna pair those up for this build. Now for the chassis, the power supplies, the risers, we're going to use, I was actually, I've got enough parts in here to build about six new rigs right now, short of the GPUs. We're just waiting waiting to load these things up to make a decision on what GPUs we're gonna go with over the next maybe six months or so. But I was going to use an all new frame, everything, and just have it look like a brand new build. But the reality is, We've got that Titan rig frame that you've seen in our shed videos that has been sort of limping along. I don't highlight it a whole lot. And the reason for that is it was actually our very first rig that we built here. And it's lasted for several years, but we had some problems not too long ago. Now, if you watch the RMA video I did with the EVGA products that had come back in, well, that EVGA 1200 watt power supply actually was from this rig frame. And whatever had happened, whether it was an electrical storm, I think happened to the motherboard as well. 
because a few slots on that motherboard don't work. So we're gonna yank that motherboard out of there. It's actually got an i5 processor on there. So we'll repurpose that at a later date for a larger build, but we're gonna get that motherboard out of there, maybe RMA it as well. And then we're gonna put in the new motherboard, new processor and use that to rock and roll with. Now, that being said, I don't know what kind of problems we're gonna run into with this. If you take a look at everything we've got here, we could have issues with risers. We could have issues with the power supplies that are in there. We currently have a 750 watt platinum EVGA power supply. And then we've got the standard 1200 watt HP server power supply. So I'm afraid that maybe if it had gotten a surge or something like that, maybe there's a couple bad risers in there, but we'll have to tackle that as we go and, and work through this here. Okay, first thing to do is get the old motherboard and processor out. So let me get that pulled out of this rig and get the new one ready to drop in. All right, this new processor, I'm actually gonna mount it on the motherboard while it's out of the rig frame. I think I'll be able to do that a little bit easier, be able to see the pegs come through and I don't have all the parts around it inside this rig frame that I'm having to compete with. So I'll go ahead and get that installed and then we will grab the memory from the existing motherboard and put that on here. Now on the memory, it is eight gigabytes of ballistics, 2400 megahertz. It's that classic mining memory that everybody's used for years. We're gonna take that and assuming that it's running fine, we're gonna use that on this build as well. Okay, next up, I have to update the BIOS. I was thinking of just dropping this in here and running as is because most of the time it's okay. But the reality is when am I gonna get back around to it? After we get the BIOS flashed, we get everything updated, we'll go in and make a couple changes in here for power saving. There's a few things that we don't need and a couple preferences we wanna set. First up is to set the power on after power loss. And the primary reason we wanna do this is just in case something goes wrong with the rig. As you guys know, I automate everything with those tech and Wi-Fi switches and so that I can reboot the rig from my phone, we're gonna set that to power on after power loss that way we reset the switch, the rig's gonna shut down, it's gonna restart and we'll be back up and mining. Now I get asked from time to time, where is that? And usually I'm asking the ASRock H110, but oftentimes the B250 mining expert as well. So let me go ahead and show you here in the H110. The other thing I like to do is turn off the serial and parallel ports and we definitely don't need audio. So we're gonna turn that off and hopefully save a couple watts. All right, so this is a good time to talk about the power split between the two power supplies. I was thinking about this a good bit. We've got the 750 watt power supply. It is a platinum power supply, so I don't mind powering GPUs and risers off of this. Now, it's best practice when you can to power the same riser and GPU off the same power supply. I, I don't always do that. I know a lot of miners don't always do that. I'm just letting you know it is a best practice when you can get it done. So the plan that we're gonna to try to tackle here is we're going to have the 1080 Ti and its riser along with the 1080 and its riser both powered off of the EVGA 750 watt power supply. So we'll have the motherboard, we'll have those two video cards on there and that'll leave us enough room to spare so we're not hitting that 80% mark. We've got the 1080 Ti running at about 180 watts to 200 watts and we've got that 1080 running at 115 to 150 somewhere in there. We're gonna have plenty of room to spare once you add in the 30 to 50 watts for the motherboard, fans, all that good stuff. We'll be golden, have plenty of room, no issues on that. Then everything else, the lower power cards, we're gonna have all of their risers as well as the GPUs themselves powered off of the HP server power supply. We'll have everything that we need on there. We'll have plenty of six pin, eight pins for risers and GPUs all of the 1060s, 1660s and on up to the 1070 and even the 1080 for that matter, all only use one eight pin port. So we'll have no issues with any power supplies or getting connectivity to any of them. And if each of those 1660s, 1060, the 1070, if they're all running around 100 watts, a little bit less, a little bit more, that's five GPUs, let's just call it 500 watts. And on this HP server power supply, we are on 220, so we get the full 1200 watts. So that puts us just over the 50% mark on this platinum HP server power supply. Now, one thing that not a lot of people do talk about when you get the chance, if you can hit that 50% mark, 50%, 60%, somewhere in there, it's actually a sweet spot for these platinum server power supplies and you get a little bit more efficiency. That is where they are most efficient. So you, if you wanna gain a couple percentage points, that's a good way to do it. 
Now when I set these GPUs up, when I look at them in Hive, when we're doing our benchmarks, I want them to be in order. So it doesn't get a little bit confusing when we're looking at the results. So I think what I wanna do is I wanna have it start top to bottom. So we're gonna start with the 1080 Ti, 1080, 1070, 1660 Ti, 1660 Super, 1660 and then the 1060. We want to go in that order. And thanks to Colin, I actually had mapped out the ports on this H110 motherboard a couple years ago. I couldn't find that. Colin came through for me and uh, sent me over the diagram. And I want to walk you through that just in case you've been curious about this yourself. So if you want to start with GPU 0, 1, 2, 3, you're going to go to the black ports. And the first one is going to be the X16 port. That's GPU 0. And then if you go to the black port to the left of that, the 1X port, that is GPU 1. Then you go to the right and just skip all the way down the line to the black slots. That's 2, 3, 4, and so on. Then you go back to the beginning to the white slot. So you go to the black slots first, then white slots, and that's how you can order these. And if we do it all right, when we look in Hive, when we're all done here, it should show up and that's what we should see. Okay, fortunately we've got all of our GPUs up and the risers, I was worried there for a minute that we had an issue with the risers, but they are working. Everything is fine. I don't have to replace anything. No bad cables. And if you do run into issues on any of these motherboards, on any GPUs, you know, go in and make sure you check those Gen settings. Usually Gen 2 is the best. You may want to start out with auto, let the motherboard try to decide, then try Gen 2. Gen 1 is an old school sort of low bandwidth approach to a best practice. If you can get Gen 1 to work, go for it. Otherwise, go to Gen 2 or auto. Okay, Raptors, the rig is up. It is looking good. Everything is looking as planned. All of our GPUs are in order from GPU 0 to 6, starting with the 1080 Ti. You can see going from top to bottom down through the 1660s to the 1060. Our hash rates look pretty good. We should be able to tweak this a little bit with some overclock settings here. Right now, out of the gate on FHash, we are at about 215 mega hash. Looks like we can tweak this 1080 Ti a little bit. We should be able to get that above 50 mega hash. And the 1070 Ethereum is not a great algorithm for it, but this is what we'll run with by default here until we start doing some testing. All right, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. We can do any kind of algorithm testing, hash rate testing, whatever it might be on this rig, and we can get some hash rates really, really quick. And if we ever need to, we can drop in an extra GPU in that extra riser that we left open and hot. And if we're doing one-off comparisons, we're gonna do that in our studio rig. We can test GPUs up there, match it up against this, and we should be pretty rounded out here. And fingers crossed, we're gonna have some 3000 series cards within the next couple of months, and that should be pretty exciting to round out the group. All right, I'm really happy with where we are. This is looking good, Raptors. All right, guys, that does it for this video. Really quick, really sweet, but I wanted you to have an idea of what we were doing with the farm. So when we use this benchmark rig in the future, you'd know what it's all about and how we're using it. So I'm, I'm happy to get this done. It was something that I wanted to have available for us to do testing on when we moved into the future. So we've got it in place now. We'll use it in future videos. That's going to wrap it up for today. Go check out the merch. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, Raptors. Back from the dead. Ladies and gentlemen, the countdown has just begun. Back, back.